QR codes are getting bigger by the day. In fact, 1 billion smartphones will access QR codes by 2022. And the smartphone companies are consistently adapting their technology to be able to read QR codes without having to install a mobile application, making it even easier for people to use them. And QR codes aren't just about viewing menus and building lists. 83% of buyers stated that they used a QR code to make a payment or complete a financial transaction for the first time ever during the past year. People are embracing QR codes. And that's happening because QR codes are considered to be one of the safest, easiest, fastest, and most engaging ways to pay and get paid. Creating QR codes isn't as easy as you might think. You must have some technical skills to create QR codes from scratch that actually get results. Of course, you could buy a QR code builder, but they highly limit your designing creativity. They limit you on the types of QR codes you can create. And even though functionality is limited, most of these builders charge high one-time or even monthly fees for use. Sure, you could always outsource having QR codes created, but that's riddled with all sorts of problems like delays, missed deadlines, and high fees. So how are you going to get in on this massive opportunity? It's called QRverse, and it's a unique, first-of-its-kind solution. With QRverse, you'll be able to create 20-plus different types of profit-making QR codes in 60 seconds or even less. This is something no other QR code builder in existence is able to do. Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you a demo of the QRverse app. This is an incredible and easy to use app that lets you create both dynamic and static QR codes for your business that will allow people to quickly scan their camera and be redirected to your page, be it Google My Business, Facebook, events, and so on. So this is a really great tool for pushing traffic where you want it to go. All right, so once you've logged in, you'll see the dashboard. Here you can create a QR code, you can see all the QR codes that you've made. And Business Finder. This is where you can search for jobs listed on freelance websites that are looking for someone to create QR codes for them. So this helps you easily find freelance work over here. You can also see a quick access to recent projects that you've worked on over here. Then over on the side panel, you can navigate through the app as well. All right, so let's jump right into creating a QR code. Click here. And you can see a list of all the types of QRs that you can create. There's about 20 right now, and there will be more added in the future. Then you see the yellow and green dots. This means the code can either be static or dynamic, or in some cases both. Static means once the QR code has been generated, it cannot be changed or edited. And dynamic means the code can be reused and edited or changed in real time. So if you want to change the link or redirect, then you'll be able to do that with a dynamic QR code. All right, so let's choose an event QR for the demo. So if you're hosting an event and want to distribute QR codes to promote it, then you'd use this. You can see a preview of the redirect page over here. So start by entering the event content. First, you can adjust the background color. Okay, then you can add a title for the event. Let's say, Making Money Online. All right, then select a banner image. I've got one here. Description. So we can say something like, this webinar will teach you how to make money online. Then this is where you add the call to action button link. I'll just use Google for now. Say if it's a physical event or an online event. If you say physical, then you can add the name of the venue or put in the venue address over here. And if you say online, then you can add the event link over here. Add a password if you want. Then edit the call to action button. Let's change it to sign up and then add the start date and time of the webinar and then the end time over here all right click continue now you can see the qr code has been generated so you can see the preview over here this is where you can start customizing its appearance we can change the background color.
or pick a transparent background if you want. So it'll be like a PNG. Then foreground color is the color of the actual code. You can make it solid or add a gradient to it. Just do take note though, light colors make it harder to scan the barcode. So it's always better to stick with darker colors. All right, then choose linear or radial. Okay, next you can add shapes. So pick a different pattern if you want. You can change the marker borders. And change the center of the marker. You can also add colors to them. So you can play around with that until you're happy. Then you can add a logo to the QR if you want. So if it's for an email or location and so on, you can add a custom logo like your business logo or anything. Let's just use the Zoom logo for the webinar. And it'll be placed in the center over here. All right, you can also add frames around it. And then edit the text to prompt people. So scan me is good. Or for an event, you can say something like sign up. You can also choose a different font. And frame color. Then finally, you can adjust the size and precision depending on how big you want the QR code to be. Once you're done, click here. Then give your project a title. I'll call this event code. And then choose if you want the QR code to be static or dynamic. If you remember, this code was only available as a dynamic code, but for options that have both yellow and green dots, you can choose which you want. This dynamic code means it's URL based, trackable and editable. Okay, select a folder to save the code in and then hit get code. Now, once the QR code has been generated, you'll be able to download it either as a PNG or an SVG. You can share it directly on social media and you can view it in your projects folder. And then if I open it up, this is what it looks like. So when someone scans this code, it will redirect them and open up the event page that you created in the first step and they'll be able to sign up for the event and so on. So using QR codes is a really good way of distributing information and directing traffic back to your page easily. If you click here, you can see all of your past projects. You can also track analytics with a dynamic code. So if you click here, you'll be able to see all the visitors who have scanned the QR code. You'll see which countries the code was scanned in, the date of the scan, and from which OS it was scanned, so Android or iOS. Okay, then if you click on these three dots, if you use the dynamic code, you'll have the option to edit it over here. So you can update and change the information or redirect link that the QR will take you to. Now, there are a bunch of different types of codes that you can generate. PayPal will direct you to a payment link. Coupon will link you to a coupon code for something. You can create a feedback form. So as a company, your customers will be able to leave you a review by using the QR code. So you can edit the page, give it a title. Let's say, um, let us know what you think. Add a logo, like your company logo. Click continue. And then again, you can go ahead and customize the QR code to look exactly how you want.
when you're happy, click on done. Add a project title, feedback form. Select a folder and then hit get code. And it's ready to be distributed. So as you can see, this is a really easy app to use, and it's a great tool for businesses to leverage for their marketing and bring traffic back to their offers or page or events and so on. Okay, then back on the dashboard, you can just click on the logo over here. You can navigate around the app over here. You can see all your projects listed in this tab, and you can filter it either by static or dynamic or all. You can create folders to organize your work for specific clients or QR code types and so on over here. Then under the finder tab, this is where you can find available jobs on freelance sites that you can apply to to create QR codes for people. Here you can send suggestions to the support if you think something can be improved or added to the app. You can update your account settings here. There is also an agency license and you can find the agency kits and resources here like social media banners, print ready commercial graphic templates, email follow up guidelines and so on. Okay, then up here we also have the white label reseller panel available. So you can fully customize the app and resell it as your own. You can change the branding add your own logo. You can also create your own custom domain that will launch your white label. And then up here is the reseller panel where you can create and manage your white label users. All right. You'll also be able to access your bonuses here and the knowledge base over here if you need some help troubleshooting anything. So again, you can see this is a really simple platform that will be great for all kinds of businesses to use. So yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the demo.